after talking with Catalina for a while and we've seen a few RVs, uh, I think that a 23 foot GMC with a rear bath layout is something that could be end up being a good compromise. Oh, day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Catalina and I, uh, our experience at checking out the Class C's and the Class A RVs didn't really go so hot. Uh, what we've decided to do is start to consider maybe doing a GMC. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of money. Uh, our budget's extremely tight. Like I kind of told everybody, we're looking at about 10 grand. Gene Bounds ended offering us this one. And what he's told me is that it has really good bones, so the engine's solid, the frame is good. I mean, it needs brakes and all this stuff. It needs a lot of things. It's got some body damage here. Whoever uh, had been trying to work on it didn't really know what they were doing when they did some repair on uh, some body work here. And they were trying to use Bondo to fill things. And, well, Bondo doesn't adhere to aluminum right. So... It's got it's got some issues when it comes to body work. But it's for us to restore outside and inside. I mean like everything. <sighs> kind of nervous about this though. Because Catalina and I, you know, we we're planning on doing the sugar beet harvest guys this year and we got to leave probably this at least by the second week of September to make that a reality. As you see, it's a really nice one with the bathroom in the rear that I really think it's nice with the sofa, the kitchen with two sinks, the dinette that I really like with a table for us to sit and be able to eat like a house on the wheels. And we just don't know if we can get the stuff that we need to do done to this to make it livable and to let a park handle it. Uh, the co-op's willing to help us a lot. Obviously, they can't sit there and do a bunch of labor for us, but they're willing to teach us how we need to go about doing this. Um, but as you can see, it it's pretty rough in here. In some ways, it's got good bones. I mean, it's a 23-foot one which are pretty rare and something that i'd kind of really like i'd like a 23 but um i don't know if it's going to be enough room for catalina um it has a rear bath which is pretty cool since you get a, a you know a good sized bathroom uh but there's a number of things that are going to have to be repaired and taken care of in here so you know um i'm i'm really tempted because i love these you know, I really, really like them. Uh, you know, it'd be really nice to be able to go this route, but I just, I just don't think that we're going to have time. I'm so nervous. I know, I know, you know, I absolutely know that we can bring this back to life, you know, and, uh, have a pretty cool RV here, but at the same rate, um, I'm just worried about our timeline and, you know, it's, it's really important for us to go and do that. I mean, I want to have that experience work camping, you know, it's another stage in building that faith and belief in, you know, how you can make everything happen and, and how you don't have to have the normal nine to five job where it fix you in a static location, you know? And you don't even necessarily have to have some kind of major online skill. And so, you know, I mean, it, the work camping things, we really want to do them. And we want to share them with all you guys, too. Uh, we want to share what's possible out there. Uh, I don't want to miss out on it again this year. I thought I had it lined up last year. Uh, but I had to have complete full onboard uh, tanks and everything in a shower so it didn't end up working out but this year we Catalina and I already have been hired so 
all we have to do is get up there and we have the job there so it's all lined up we've done our p paperwork our i9s you know or you know w4 and all that and so we don't want to miss out on that it's a opportunity for a couple to go make almost seven grand in about a month so you know that can keep you out for two three four months guys so it's a really good opportunity and uh, we don't want to miss out on it so whatever we do we have to be able to make that you know we just we just have to be able to leave in the middle of September and I don't know that we can tackle this uh, you know uh, it's it's a lot of work here that needs to be done inside and um, I'm not extremely skilled I know like I said I know I got help and I know I know I got real knowledgeable people to make sure I'm pointed in the right direction and uh, I think looking at this RV here I just think there's so much potential you know and uh, I'm being told that the frame is solid and the transmission and the engine and so it'd be pretty cool guys you know um, I'm being told that I could probably get it back to where it's roadworthy, you know, long trip roadworthy for around five grand, which, you know, when you figure you can't, you can't even buy anything out there that you can trust for five grand. Um, that doesn't count buying the RV. Sorry. I should say more like 8,500. And then, you know, you don't have anything that's cool. You just, you just have a box on on some wheels you know and who knows what leaked into the walls and it's rotten them and you can't see it so uh, you know this is this is real tempting guys why don't you tell us what you guys think uh, I'd love to hear uh, how you feel about it whether you think it would be something that we should tackle um, it just it just seems like it would kind of be really cool for our relationship and stuff too to be working on this together might be kind of a strain on a relationship as well but here it is this is the potential but the thing is we don't have too much time we are in July already and the sugar beets starts in October we have to live here in the middle of September it means we have July, August, and September, and two months and a half. It's not gonna have enough time to restore it. I would love to show every step of the restoring, but I'm pretty worried like James is. What do you think, guys? We, we need to get making it work. We need to start making a decision. We don't, we don't have forever, you know, we, even in, even if they're nice enough over here at the GMC co-op to, you know, keep letting us use the RV or, you know, I can talk Catalina to go back into the van for a little while, uh, which I don't know about that. But uh, even if that's the case, you know, it'd just be nice to have what we're gonna do things in and on our weekend trips while we're still here in Florida, it'd be cool to have our RV, you know? And uh, I don't I don't really wanna wait around forever trying to find something and uh, right now, really what we liked was just that short 22 foot, well, 21 foot six inch uh, class C that I was able to get video while we were looking at it. Uh, some of the other stuff we looked at, they wouldn't let me video, so they they kind of balked when I started videoing. So, and I don't blame them. You know, I get it. I think it would be a really good compromise for the lady and I. I mean, she she wants something bigger than a Class B van. I, it's that's not gonna fly. And uh, I personally, uh, you know, I don't want any great big Class A. You know? This seems to be a really, really good, really good um, compromise, you know. 
it's a little longer than I would like but I think we can pack in everything that the lady's gonna want all right guys get out there connect live your big story make sure you do something every single day to reduce warm sex peace guys peace. without you my friend can I tell you all